Hey, this is Keith from Outlaw Speed Shop, and this is just a quick video in explaining the new contest that I've launched. Um, if you guys remember in the past, I did a skid competition, and that went really, really well. ton of entries. Um, I want to surpass that. I wasn't, um, there's was a lot of things I wanted to change on how I did it. So this year, um, and hopefully again in the fall, um, I'm doing what's called the Custom Diecast Invitational. And this Invitational is technically, if you're watching this, you're invited. So that's where the Invitational part comes in. Plus, competition didn't sound right, CDC. Meh. Um, anyways, it's the 2024 Custom Diecast International. So I posted the rules yesterday. And I'm going to review them one by one. There's only a few. And I tried to make this as simple as as possible. Um, as always, there's going to be questions, but don't hesitate to ask. So, rule number one, the casting must be 164 scale, and it's got to be by any manufacturer. So, Matchbox, Hot Wheels, um, those are the two main ones, obviously, uh, M2s, green lights, stuff like that. But it's got to be 164 scale. Pretty simple, right? Two, the theme is going to determine what you probably pick for a casting. Um, and it's a broad range. I'm going to be announcing it on March 1st. And it's just, it's more like a genre of, of vehicle. So, um, but I'm, going to, I'm not going to announce it till March 1st. So, rule three. Entries must not be an existing custom that you've completed or started. What that means is, obviously... Don't submit crap that you've already done. Pretty simple. Or stuff you've already started because it happens to fit the the, um, the theme. And that'll get taken care of, hopefully, in the entry and submission part that I go over real quick. Rule four. No dioramas or extras. Only the entry casting to be shown in final submission, submission pictures. <coughs> Excuse me. So what that means is just the casting. Um, when I did the skid competition, um, it was outstanding. People were sending these nice dioramas and everything, and it really was hard to put everything on a level playing field. So this way, everything's level. Everybody has one casting, one car. That's it. Rule five. Five, five, five. No post-apocalyptic gas lands style builds. Um, it's hard to judge everything that way. Um, and, and maybe, and again, this is the first one, so maybe moving on, I'll have a separate category for that. And again, I'd like to be able to do this again in the fall. Um, that's why if you look at the, the flyer, it does say spring 2024 theme. Uh, the goal is to also have one in the fall. And if this goes well, then in the fall, yeah, I'll probably open it up to gas lands. But this way, everything's judged the same. Um, rule number six. Six, six, six. 3D printed parts and aftermarket wheels are allowed, but no 3D printed full bodies. Obviously, it, what that means is this has to actually be a physical casting. It has to be made of die cast. No 3D printed bodies is essentially what I'm saying. I know some people make bodies. Um, this is strictly a casting. That way, it's a casting that everybody would have access to. Um, not that you can't pick what casting you want, but it's still a casting. And then I added um, a rule today based on some questions. Um, only one entry per participant. That just keeps things on my end a heck of a lot simpler. So that takes care of the rules. Entry and submission. One. For those who want to participate, go to outlawspeedshop.com slash pages slash custom diecast invitational. You can either go there or just go to Outlaw Speed Shop, and in the upper left-hand corner, there's a link that says custom diecast invitational. You can pick that one as well. Or if you're on your mobile, it's a drop-down menu. Um, and fill out the form with your info, which will be your name, first, last, an email address, and then a picture of the casting that you're going to use. With that picture... Okay, if you have a picture of a car, use somebody's phone or put it in front of your computer screen, put it with the date and time. 
That way, we know that this is the date you're starting. And then you can do this anytime after March 1st, March 1st or on. Um, upon completion, submit only five pictures. So the same page you went to to fill out the form, further down on that same page is the actual entry submission form. So what you're going to do is you're going to take a picture of your car, okay, and you're going to take left, right, front, rear, and top. Five pictures, five pictures only, and please put them on a white background. Again, this is so that everybody is judged the same. It's easier to see the pictures for me and the judges, whoever those might be. I'm still hunting them down. But it keeps everything on a level playing field. So all entries must be received no later than midnight on May 1st, 2024. That's it. I mean, this is about as simple as it gets. The idea of this is to encourage everybody. I don't care if you think you have a shot at anything. And there's going to be, I'm going to touch on the classes here in a second. I know I've, I've got a few listed, but there may be more, there may be less. There's, it's still in, in progress, but I don't want anybody building to a specific class. Now, some people's talents lie in um, weathering. Some in paint, some in, you know, hacking up stuff and making multiple, you know, multiple things. And if you're going to use multiple castings, all I care about is the main casting, the thing that's going to be somewhat recognizable when, you, when you're done, if you're really into custom stuff. So the goal of this is to encourage everybody, everybody to submit. And everybody's going to get an equal amount of time as we review all these, as we look at them. I'm going to be doing videos, sharing stuff on Instagram. Everybody's going to get a fair shake. Everybody's going to have the same amount of exposure. I don't care if you've built one custom or never built a custom or you've built a hundred. Everybody's going to be equal. And the goal is to get everybody to just step out of your comfort zone just a little bit and take it up a notch. You know, you are going to be going against a bunch of people. Ultimately, you're your, your own competition. Every build you do, you want it to be just one a little bit better than the last time you built and, and just slowly work your way up and that this competition is kind of supposed to spearhead that so um, please uh, feel free to join don't feel intimidated that is <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> by far the last thing I want I want everybody to, to have fun with this please share it on on social media whether you're on Facebook TikTok Instagram snap face whatever the hell you know just Whatever, share your build. Be proud of what you're building. It's not a competition insofar as you can't share something. It's not a secret. You know, use this as an opportunity to promote yourself. Use the hashtag 2024CDI. That way I'll see stuff. Or if you feel so inclined, uh, tag me in it, Outlaw Speed Shop 2001. And that way I can help share it as well. But either way, have fun. Keep an eye out. March 1st, I will be making the, the announcement of what the theme is. And again, it's a wide theme. So you're not going to be pigeonholed um, into like one casting. There's going to be, you're going to have a lot of choices. So anyways, thank you for watching and I will catch you on the next one.